In this next chapter, we have chapter 56, subhanallah, surah waqi'ah. And interestingly, in the previous chapter, Allah mentions the two levels of jannahs. And in this chapter, Allah mentions those two recipients that are going to get those jannahs. So Allah mentions them in such, an, such a phenomenal way. Allah mentions, وَالسَّابِقُونَ السَّابِقُونَ أُولَٰئِكَ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ So they are the people to get the first jannah. And Allah mentions, وَأَصْحَابُ الْمَيْمَنَةِ مَا أَصْحَابُ الْمَيْمَنَةِ And they are the people who will get the second the second, وَمِن دُونِهِمَا جَنَّةً So the previous chapter discusses those beautiful jannas. Read them. There's no time in this short discussion. And in this chapter, Allah mentions those who are going to get those jannas. Now because Allah mentioned uh, Jahannam also, so Allah mentions Ashabul Mash'ama, the people who of the left, Allah save us, Allah save us, and what they will get. And this chapter describes more about Jannah, is a continuous dis 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 description of the amazing amenities and pleasures in paradise. Allah grant us this through His mercy. But because the previous chapter mentions two levels of Jannah and here two categories of those who will get Jannah, but there's one category of those who will get Jahannam. The second category of the Jahannamis are mentioned in the next chapter, which is Hadid, and that is in the form of the hypocrites. They will be crossing the Pulsirat, but their lights will switch off. Allahu Akbar. A person is, the example is in this world, a person is doing something and then there's load shedding. Oh, and there's no backup and there's no, there the backup is A'mal whilst he is crossing the pull sirat and thinner than a hair string, sharper than a blade. And now he's tripping, he's slipping, he's fumbling and there's no lights and now he falls. And that's in the next chapter. That's the link between these chapters. Subhanallah, read the translation from verses 57. Allah mentions His greatness and His favors. نَحْنُ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ We've created you. Don't you believe? And Allah Ta'ala gives examples. See the children that you procreate. Where does these children come from? Is it your creation or is it Allah's creation? Allah mentions death, that we decreed your time of death. You can never escape it. And Allah says, we can change you and transform you into something else that you don't even know of. Allahu Akbar. Allah Ta'ala in verses 63 asks, Do you see and do you take lesson from your plantation? Have you harvested it or is it we the doers of all of it? Allah says if we want we can destroy it and crush it. So don't you, subhanallah, Allah is telling us to draw lesson. Allah says admire the water. Do you look at the water that you drink? Did you send it from the skies? Or are we the ones to send it down? Had we wanted, we would have made it bitter. So don't you appreciate? And logically, the rainwater that comes down is evaporated water. How perfectly it evaporates. And majority of this earth is sea. 71% is water. And that's the water that's being eva evaporated. It's salty. So logically, the water would have come down in the form of rain in a better manner. But subhanallah, Allah sweetens it and sends it. And not only sweetens it, logically, anything the size of a rain droplet falling at such a distance would have fallen on our heads like bullets. Severe, severe strikings. But Allah makes it hit the horizon and it slows down and it calmly falls on our heads out of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of this Allah is calling us to appreciate. فَلَوْلَا tashkurun. Allah says, do you see the fire that you kindle? What a ni'mah of Allah to cook, to travel with, to feel warm. And a reminder, tadhkira, when we see that fire, we should Ponder that imagine the fire of hell. Allah save us. Allah save us. Towards the end of this chapter, Allah mentions the glory of the Quran. Allah takes qasam and mentions the glory. Innahu la Quranun kareem fi kitabim maknoon la yamassuhu illa al mutahharoon. One should be in a pure state when touching the Quran kareem. And there's so many beautiful explanations. Allahu Akbar. Allah Ta'ala says, Are you curry favoring when it comes to this Quran? Don't curry favor and don't compromise the commands of Allah. Then the end, the culmination of this chapter mentions an amazing phenomenal lesson. Verses 83, Allah says that, Oh my banda, if you feel that you don't have to answer غير مدينين, you don't have to answer Allah and one feels he can spend the life, this world as, as he wants, Allah says, why don't you try this exercise? إِذَا بَلَغَتِ الْحُلْقُمْ Lola, Quran exhorts and challenges. When the soul of the dying man is departing from his body and it reaches his throat and he's dying and he's going. 
and you are right there looking at him. Allah says, we are closer to him than you, but you see not. Allah says, follow la again emphatically. If you feel you are not answerable to anyone and you can live the life doing whatever you like, why don't you, Lola, tarji'unaha? Why don't you return his soul, the soul of the dying man into his body if you are true to your claim that you are not answerable? In kuntum sadiqeen. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. What a challenge quran Kareem gives us here that if we think we can live the life we want and we're not answerable to our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what can we do? Ya Allah, respected mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, قبر میں الماری نہیں ہے کفن میں جیب نہیں ہے اور فرشتوں رشوت نہیں لیتے In the grave, there's no closets. There's no cupboards to keep anything. In the coffin, there's no pockets. And the angels don't accept bribery. There, there's no bribery and corruption. Let's prepare to meet our Allah. Read more of these verses. Allah speaks about the muqarrabeen. فَرَوْحُ وَرَيْحَانُ وَجَنَّةُ نَعِيمُ وَأَمَّا إِنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ الْيَمِينَ فَسَلَامٌ لَكَ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ الْيَمِينَ وَأَمَّا Ya Allah, save us. وَأَمَّا إِنْ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ الضَّالِّينَ فَنُزُلٌ مِنْ حَمِيمٌ وَتَصْنِيَةُ جَحِيمٌ إِنَّ هَذَا لَهُوَ حَقُّ الْيَقِينِ فَسَبِّحْ بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ So Allah, the last verse, 96, Allah says, So make the tasbih of the name of your great Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah ta'ala teaches us in the next chapter how everything is making the tasbih of Allah. Sabbaha lillah. So the musabbihat starts here. And from here, Surah Hadid, right till Tahreem, this is a continuous array of Medina revealed chapters. So sabbaha lillah, this is past tense. And the one in uh, Surah Isra is subhan alladhi, that's the masdar, that's more, more emphatic, the masdar. The original root, then the past tense, then comes the future tense, then comes the command tense. So, so beautiful is the array and the sequence of the Quran Kareem. So, the previous verses, chapter ends, make tasbih of Allah. And this chapter tells us that everything is making tasbih of Allah. Allah doesn't need our tasbih. Everything in the heavens and the earth is making tasbih of Allah. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ To Allah belongs the kingdom. Allah totally owns the heavens and the earth. He gives life and causes death. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرُ وَالظَّاهِرُ وَالْبَاطِنُ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ Verses of Allah's grandeur, greatness, glory and power and might. Allah give us tawfiq to connect to Him. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ الْأُمِّيِّ